everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my hair care routine for you, which has been a very, very long time coming because I had my hair cut about a month ago now and switched all my products around and I just basically haven't got round to actually getting it filmed. Um, did try once but my hair was very, very greasy and I just thought, what's a hair care routine if your hair looks diabolical? So, refilming it, just washed my hair today. So this is freshly washed hair, hence the unruly little bit of what used to be fringe here um but anyway I'm just going to kind of talk you through the products I use for kind of washing and styling and things like that and I'm actually going to leave kind of masks and things like that for another day because I am going to be doing kind of a masks top five masks video and um, so the ones that I actually use on my hair will probably feature in that um so yeah, anyway, I'm just going to crack on with kind of shampooing and conditioning and all of that stuff and I hope you like it First up is a very new addition to my kind of hair care family. Um, it's the Apivita Propylene Volumizing Shampoo. I have no idea if I've actually butchered that and said it completely wrong. Um, but this um, this was sent to me by the guys over at Apivita and they sent me a really lovely box just full of stuff. And some of it, not so great, but this was just the first thing I tried out and I love it. This has just made it so, so volumised. When I didn't use this, it was just completely kind of flat, just looked a bit lifeless, but this is just, it just makes it sit nicer. There's slightly, obviously it doesn't make my hair look like I've just been for like a big blow dry, but it does give it a lot more lift at the roots. It just sits nicer, the parting just sits better, and it's generally just a lot more kind of well behaved. So this has just really just been wowing me recently and I think I'm gonna to have to pick up an up another bottle when I'm done with this one but it comes with quite a lot in the bottle so hopefully that won't be anytime soon. For good conditioners I've turned into kind of a little bit of a not sure what I'm doing kind of girl with conditioners Um I've found that since I've had my hair cut it doesn't need like real real nourishment anymore because it's very very healthy there's barely any split ends there's just nothing it's just got so much life to it so I don't need like a serious conditioner anymore like I used to use the um, Dove um, Nourishing Oil Care Express Treatment Conditioner or whatever it was. Um, I used to use that and that kind of really gave my hair back some more bounce and some more life um, but it just doesn't need that anymore it's doing all that stuff on its own so I've just been using the Bumble Mumble Surf um, conditioner. It's a really really lovely light conditioner so I find that with the volumizing shampoo it just helps my hair to be kind of a lot lighter and just kind of sits a lot better. It's quite well behaved because obviously it's been conditioned but it's not like weighed down um, and it smells nice which is always a plus. Um, but yeah for conditioners kind of just looking for something light and I really really like this. Um, when it's kind of in its kind of damp but not dry stage I use the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. I love this stuff. This actually was what kind of what made me go for the chop in the first place because my hair is actually very very wavy. It kind of does a beach wave thing. I wanted my hair cut, but I was kind of reserved about it because I want I love it straight, just straight or kind of with a slight curl at the bottom. But I didn't want it to kind of start doing its own thing, which when I was a kid was what it used to do just all the time. It would just you could do anything to it and it would just spring back to how it originally was. Um, but then I tried this and I tried this because um, Anna recommended it. It's all over her videos back when she had her hair. It keeps my hair so straight. And I tested this out when I went to Edinburgh and I used it. It rained. It was windy. They have all kinds of weather up there. It is insane. Um, but I used I'd used this before and it stayed straight. It was amazing. Even when I had it cut, it just stayed completely straight and it's been like rainy and all sorts of, like over in the UK. Down in Brighton, we just have really, really crap weather. Um, but this has just helped to keep it really nice and straight and sleek and just how I like it. And now I'm actually not so scared of like having my hair cut again. I'm actually thinking of going a bit shorter because I can actually maintain the style. I rant about the <laughs> Living Proof Prime Style Extender Rover. Um, when we come on to heat protectants, which is the next thing I put on, I dabble between two and it depends on whether I want my hair kind of straight or whether I'm going to curl it. This week, I'm kind of thinking of just having my hair a little bit messier, so I'll kind of put curls in random places and then scrunch it up. Um, but for that, I don't want my hair to be too weighed down, so I use the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. It's a really, really lovely heat protectant. It smells amazing. I love amazing kind of smelling hair care products. It really, really lingers in your hair because I can still smell it now. Um, it's just absolutely lovely. I just, I don't know, obviously, 
heat protectant is kind of you can never actually really test out how good it is unless you've been using it for like years um but i like knowing that my hair is kind of potentially protected um and it's just a it just is a really nice kind of lightweight product so i really like using this for if i'm going to have like messy hair not going to have messy hair and I'm going to have kind of straight then I would normally go for the L'Oreal hot straight cream studio silk gloss whatever it's called it's got like why do these products have like three different names on the bottle I don't know but I've been using this since I was 13 I've been using it since Beyonce advertised it when it came out um, and I just absolutely love it it kind of really if I want it really sleek and straight it really weighs down my hair um, and just makes it kind of really really soft and smooth which is lovely and I've found that I think it really does protect my hair because every hairdresser I've been to doesn't think that I straighten my hair religiously. People are really surprised when I say, oh yeah, I straighten it every single day with GHDs and that there's this puzzled look on their face as to why my hair isn't kind of like straw. Um, and I just think it's this. I've always used this since I got my first pair of straighteners. I ran out and bought this because Beyonce had really super straight hair on the TV. I'm like an advertiser's dream. But I really, really love this. It's really inexpensive as well. If you kind of are having similar problems to me where your hair just doesn't stay straight, this is a really, really good one to try out. And then we move on to styling. And there are a couple of products that I like to use. I kind of, some days I don't, some days I literally just use my GHDs and I've just got the original kind of slim GHDs. Um, but some days I kind of like my hair to be a bit messier, a bit textured. So if I want my hair to just look a bit more textured and kind of just be a bit kind of fuller, I use the Arebe Dry Texturizing Spray, which is the most expensive can of spray you probably will ever pick up. But it's really, really lovely. The VO5 Dry Texturizing Spray, or I can't remember what it's called, it's got a very similar name. Their version of this is not as good. The effects don't last as long, so you kind of need to top it up. But it's a really, really good one if you're on a budget. Final product is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. I actually have the bigger one of this. I don't know why I kind of picked the little one up. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this. It's just... Some people say it can make your hair grow a bit crunchy, but I actually find that as long as you're quite sparing with it and don't kind of use it... I don't use it on wet hair. I try not to. I just think that it does kind of tempt it to grow a bit crunchier, but um, for the most part, I just pretend prefer I prefer to use this on dry hair I would just curl it like in random places and then kind of just scrunch it up and it just goes really really big and volumized and it's really really great for that so I love this I love the fact that it comes in a travel size because obviously you can test it out before you buy the full product and this was about eight or ten pounds I think when I first bought it so that's really really great and you can get it from Boots as well as kind of Space NK and all that. That is it for my hair care routine. I have no idea why it's taken me so long to get round to because that was actually fairly quick. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products or anything, um, just pop them below and I will reply to you kind of ASAP. I'll put links to kind of what I'm wearing um, on my face and kind of dress wise. I'll link that up in the bottom bar comment. No. Description box. That's, that's the one. I'm going to link it in the description. Hope you all had a lovely day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.